consider a rod of length L hanging from a fixed support. Let this be the rod of length L. Let the weight of the rod be W. W be its weight and A be the area of cross section. Area of cross section. Suppose there is an element. Let us consider a section of this rod at a distance x from the fixed point. Let's call this distance. Let's take this distance x and let the thickness of the section be dx. dx. So if you draw the free body diagram of this section, it will be like this. I mean this section that is its thickness is dx and there will be a force acting on this section due to this weight the weight the weight due to the weight of the rod below the section so this section provide due to the weight of this length of the rod it experiences a downward force so let's call that let's mark that weight as w w dash or let's call that as a force f and you know the force f is equal to force f is equal to weight per unit length weight per unit length of the rod into length of the section length of the length of the portion below the rod below the rod which means force is equal to weight per unit length is weight is w total length of the rod is l and the section below the uh, sorry on, and the length of the rod below the section is this length will be L minus X, right? L minus X. So L minus X, I'll write it here. This section will be L minus X. So W, so this is the force acting um, on the section from below. Clear. Now, let, let due to this force, this section has undergone an extension like this let this be a small extension or elongation produced in that section due to this force let's call that as de and from and let y be the young's modulus young's modulus young's modulus and we have Young's modulus y is equal to stress divided by strain. Stress divided by strain. Or stress is equal to force per unit area into change in length divided by original length. Here change in length is dE and the original length is we have dx. dx is the original length of the section. I am just considering the section. Clear the Young's modulus of this section is equal to force per unit area by change in length into original length. Now let's substitute all the, all the values in here. So this will be Young's modulus y is equal to we have force is equal to w by l into l minus x divided by force by area divided by change in length by original length this can be simplified as w into l minus x this dx will go up divided by this is equal to l a t e therefore
therefore de is equal to de is equal to w times l minus x dx divided by l a y clear so in order to find the total extension produced in the rod you must integrate since the variable is x x varies from here x is equal to 0 at the bottom here x is equal to l so you must integrate from x equal to 0 to x is equal to l so in order to get the total elongation you must integrate 0 to l w l minus x dx by l a y so this w l a y remains constant so that you can take that outside l a y integral 0 to l l minus x dx on integrating you will get w divided by l a y into integral of l is lx minus x it is x square by 2 then put the limit 0 to l this is equal to total elongation e is equal to w by l a y into if you substitute l for x then it is l into l that is l square minus here also l square by 2 and leave the lower limit since it is 0 so here it will be e is equal to w by l a y l square minus l square by 2 is l square by 2 cancel this l and this l one of the l's therefore implies elongation is equal to w l by 2 a y so this is the elongation produced in a rod hanging from a fixed support due to its weight clear